Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for Friday the 13th of April. This is for all signs. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Just need to remind you that these energies are fluid. So you could have already felt like this, or you're going to be feeling like this, or you know, who knows? I like to consider these kind of like almost timeless readings. They are done on this day, so they probably resonate with this day, but you know. Could have been before, could be after, could be now, you know. What do we have for August? August! August. What the fuck, right? April! <laughs> April 13th. So good. Maybe something's going to be happening in August or something happened last August that is coming up now. That could be the case. Many of you are focusing on past disappointment, okay? I think that you are probably, you may be feeling a little bit bitter. You may be feeling upset. You may be feeling like... This could be an intense day, put it that way. I feel like somebody may be trying to establish a relationship with you and you may not be willing to open up. And maybe it's time to really figure out what you really, really want in life, where you're going, what you're doing, what the hell do you want? What do I want? Do I want to continue to focus on what has happened in the past and let that hold me back from moving forward or, or what? Okay, I feel like, you know, there could be some intense feelings today. Um, maybe, maybe you're feeling like you're unable to love at this time or you're unable to be loved i think somebody is still going through some sort of healing they're on the mend but they kind of haven't completely healed yet i feel like forgiveness is needed maybe you need to forgive yourself or you need to forgive another person so that you can move on I feel like the storm really is over even though you may be feeling like it's not maybe you feel like you are unable I feel like for this today somebody is unable to move forward and see past the prior disappointments and losses and look at this any new opportunities as Positive. I think somebody is holding on to hurt when they shouldn't be. Yeah, I feel like somebody is being called to be objective. Okay, be objective about the situation. Whatever's going on in your life, try to look at it through different lenses. Okay, I feel like somebody hasn't completely... Um, had the closure that they need to move on to a different situation. I feel like somebody is still working on their own inner stability, their own security, their own selves, and they haven't quite overcome the, the aftermath of the storm, even though the storm is over. Okay, they haven't, the cleanup has not been finished, whatever has happened. I feel like somebody has their guard up and they're being called to really 
look at things through a new perspective. Okay, that's so that's pretty prominent for today. I, I somebody hasn't completely ended a cycle, even though the cycle has ended. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel like somebody is still working on making themselves feel secure again, but it, it's not quite, it's not over yet. It's not completely there. Um, somebody is overly critical and I think they're overly critical of themselves. Somebody that's watching this is criticizing themselves wrongly. You know, they're being overly critical, um, making themselves hard to love because they haven't forgiven yet or they haven't forgiven themselves or they just haven't healed completely. So I think that they've really put their shield up. Um, I'm going to get some clarifiers here. Somebody's probably blocking, blocking communication or just not wa wanting to move forward, okay? They want to move forward, but they're unable to move forward because they have this blockage, okay? Somebody is, is feels like they're wasting others' time because they're not ready, but they're, they're almost ready, right? You're almost ready. So, we have this King of Swords, you know, and the Queen of Swords. We have air energy pretty strong here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Like I said, you are being called to... Be objective. Really, really be objective. See things differently. Look at things differently. Whatever you have has caused disappointment, okay? Whatever has caused you this disappointment and the inability to concentrate on the future or focus on the future or see the new prospects, whatever has caused that is, is not the reality, okay? See the reality of this situation, okay? I feel like somebody is really focusing on past disappointments when you're being called to really open up. Let yourself open up. Be objective. Treat yourself fairly. Have you been treating yourself fairly? Is this fair to you to treat yourself like this? I feel like, you know, whoever you're dealing with has really good intentions for you, but you have your guard up. You do. You have your guard up. You're like, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, you know, you're having a hard time feeling abundant, okay? I feel like right now you're probably you may be wanting to just work on your finances. Maybe you're wanting to to work on your home. Maybe you're maybe you're really focusing on everything but love at this time. Maybe you're just trying to get yourself together as you heal. You know? I feel like somebody is trying to bury their pain. Hide their pain. And maybe not even want me want to leave the house. You know what I mean? I don't want to leave the house. I don't want to leave the establishment. I don't. Right now, I need to work on myself. I feel like you are being called to. Use your inner power to complete this cycle. You're going to have to struggle through this you're going to have to find the courage and the confidence and the inner strength and the willpower and the discipline to close that chapter in the past there's a chapter that you know i think the a door has closed but you're you haven't cleaned up the debris you know what i'm saying yeah, I feel like right now there's a lack of excitement. And, you know, maybe maybe you're feeling very pessimistic about your future with anybody else at this time. I feel like you're, you're unable to offer anything secure to anybody because you're not where you need to be. You're probably feeling like, oh, woe is me. Why would I even do that if... 
I'm not good enough. And I feel like this is this is this is the theme for the for the day or the next couple of days. Um I'm not good enough. I'm not I'm not good enough. I feel like, you know, you're overly criti criticizing it's like overly criticizing yourself and that's an that's an ego. That's an ego trait. <laughs> you know, when you criticize yourself for not being good enough, that's your ego talking. I feel as though whatever is going you on going on in your life right now could lead to happiness, but you're not letting it happen it happen because you have your guard up. You're unwilling to move forward because there's a lack of, of self-worth and self-confidence and self-esteem here. And I feel like you're be absolutely being called to look at this through different eyes. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who has really good intentions for, intentions for whatever the situation is. There's, there's good intentions. Somebody is thinking very positively. It's not you. Somebody that you're dealing with is it's thinking positively about you, but you're not. Okay. And I feel like you're, you're really scared. You're really scared of a situation. I'm not sure what it is. I feel like you are probably, just wanting to see the situation as clearly as possible, but I think you may have some clouded insecurities. I do think that whatever is going on, because these are both seeing the situations clearly. This is this is, is, is seeing the situation clearly. So whatever this is, somebody is is not ready. Somebody is absolutely not ready. Their intuition is telling them that they're not ready. They're not ready for something. Maybe there's some secrets. Maybe you're holding in some secrets or the person that you're dealing with is. Somebody is holding something in. And maybe you know that. Maybe you know that somebody is not telling you everything. Maybe you know that there's something going on. Maybe, maybe I think somebody is really scared of being hurt. I feel like today is a day of finding your courage and your strength and your confidence to open up and look at things more objectively. Don't let your ego get in the way. Ego has to do with rejection, okay, fear of rejection. So I feel like somebody is feeling very pessimistic about their future because whatever has happened in the past is not completely cleaned up yet. I think that somebody's making progress with the mending and the healing and they've been working on themselves and working on bringing the stability and the security back, but I don't think that they're completely there yet. And I think their intuition is telling them I'm not completely ready. I'm not completely ready to be objective, even though you're being called to be objective. I feel like somebody is just... misjudging themselves, okay? Somebody is really judging themselves harshly. You know, I'm going to get one of these. I feel like this is a day of <clears throat> indecision, okay, and pessimism, unfortunately. I feel like somebody is really trying to decide what the, what the hell they want, where they're going. 
Um, you know, you may be, somebody may be wanting to establish a relationship with you, but you don't feel like you're worthy. You don't feel like you're good enough or something like that. This card fell out. Okay. I don't really like this card, but it fell out, so I have to, I have to show it. Separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. And that makes sense. Okay. That makes a lot of sense because it feels like somebody is is feeling less than worthy in a situation, okay? So, you know, this could even be with a new person. Maybe you're feeling like you just, you can't go there right now. I just can't go there right now. And separation doesn't mean that, I mean, if you're with somebody, it doesn't mean that you're, I mean, it can mean that you're moving out, but it can also mean I just need time alone. I need some time. I need some time to figure out what I'm doing. Yeah. Soul solitude. Your soul needs attention. There are moments when it's important to get away, not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet, a place for soul solitude. This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, and a time for you, and that makes complete sense for the day. I feel like today is a day of in this in the next couple of days or this has already happened this is this is a time of figuring out what has happened where i'm going and how do i love myself again and that's what i have talk to you later